Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. And King of Floors, your vinyl, laminate, and engineered flooring superstore. Just ahead of Henrik Sedin, today's guest, Friday, brought to you by Langley Chrysler. They have the vehicle for your next summer adventure, whether you need a Jeep for the beach or a Ram for the fam, you can save up to 12 grand online or on land at langleychrysler.com. As we're joined now by new Canucks Special Advisor to GM, Jim Benning, Henrik Sedin. Henrik, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you guys? Very good, well, and good, congratulations Henry. on the new job. Um, before we get into the Canucks, Henrik, have you been in contact with Alex Burroughs lately and all the success he's having with Montreal? I have, yes. Uh, texting a little back and forth. So, uh, so no, it's, it's great, great to see. It's, uh, it's a great story uh, to see uh, where, where they came from be- before the playoffs and, and here they are. So it uh, shows you that uh, making the playoffs is, uh, yeah. is, is very important and anything can happen when you, when you get there. Any surprise that he's having success as a coach, Henrik? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, I mean, he's not. The, he's not the, the, the maybe the the only reason why they're why they where they are. But he's uh, he's. I've talked about him before, and and you saw right away when he came in. And he's a student of the game. Uh, he sees things on the ice uh, uh, that other other people don't, and and um, so not surprised at all. So Montreal and Alex uh, on to the Stanley Cup final. Now, as somebody who's new uh, to management, Henrik, what sticks out for you uh, in terms of what it takes to build a winning team these days? Well, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of things go, go into If you talk about Montreal, I think they, uh, they have been flying on the radar a little bit. And, mm-hmm. and uh, I think for them, it's uh, in a Canadian market to go into playoffs without really any pressure I think has been key for them because okay. uh, they have no one uh, what, what I what I believe is that they, they really have no one that that's under the gun to to produce points or needing to to do the extra uh, and that that pressure doesn't lie in one or two guys it's it's uh, their whole team is is uh, is you can you can tell they're playing together they all do the same things uh, if if someone doesn't score the, the next guy steps up and scores and that, that you don't you don't have the pressure that maybe other teams in Canada has had in in this uh, in these standing uh, playoffs. Yeah, depth helps. Hey, uh, Henrik, you and Daniel uh, both said you took this job in large part because you care so much about the Canucks organization. Has it been tough to watch what this team has gone through over the last couple of years? Absolutely, it's uh, we're like we've been like any other other fan. It's, it's of course it's been tough to watch. It's. Uh, it's never fun when you when you go through these uh, these stretches. Uh, uh, so it's it's been uh, frustrating to 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 follow from 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 the side. Henrik, you talked about culture, and we talk about the importance of culture. It starts at the top for me with ownership. Uh, tell me, uh, tell us how you change the culture from losing to winning. It's very small size. It's, it's not going to change right away, but it's. Uh, uh, like I said, it starts from the top, it goes all the way down, and, and it, it, what what you see is, is is the product on the ice. That's where you can see the change. And, and uh, uh, if you talk about the players, I think they they they're gonna see if if ever, everyone is on the same page uh, above them, uh, ownership, management, coaches. Uh, you can tell in the dress room that they 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 can see that, and that's uh, that's very important. Uh, and then when you when you get on the ice, it's I. I I've always believed that it starts with your top players. Um, if they come in to training camp and they the highest paid players are, are the ones that are, are the most prepared, uh, they are the ones that lead in, in practice, uh, uh, in the dressing room, and and, uh, and then in games where where uh, there's a there's a baseline that that with expectations that everyone has, and that that's uh, that's not 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 only your 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 bottom bottom players that needs to come from start to the top players and, and from there your talent can can uh, uh, can shine and, and that's where you where you get uh, get goals or, or that extra stuff from from the top players you talk about top players uh, 
Uh, Henrik, talk about Alexander Edler. The Canucks want to re-sign him. Uh, there are some in the market that would like to see his minutes reduced. Do you think that Alex can still play at, at a high level, Henrik, uh, for years to come in the National Hockey League? Alex is uh, he, he's he's been a top, <laughs> maybe the best defender that uh, Vancouver's ever seen, and and uh, I think uh, once you get older, I think they're, 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 you're going to have to adapt to, to to a different role. That's uh, that's just the, that's just the way it is, and. And like like we said too, if there's young guys coming in and who are better and and can play those minutes, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that same with us uh, that he's happy to to take a lesser role and and be part of a, a winning team. We're talking with Henrik Sedin back with the Canucks. Henrik, uh, during the press conference, you said that you talked with or you or Daniel said that you had talked with Trevor Linden before you took this job. Can you give us an idea, because there's all sorts of speculation as to why Trevor left the organization. Can you, can you give us an idea of what Trevor told you? Yeah, like, we, I mean, we're, we're super close with Trevor, and we, we talk uh, talk a lot about different things. And, and so, I mean, his advice is just to come in with, with open eyes and, 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 and learn as much as you can. And, uh, what, like, that, what, what other things we talked about, that, I mean, that's between him, right. him and us. But, but uh, he was happy for us, uh, super happy, excited. Uh, and he, uh, uh, he wanted to do well. So that's, uh, that's pretty, much the, pretty much the main, main message. Are you confident you're going to be listened to? Well, in the role, like like we said, we we're we're going to come in, and we we know nothing about this side. We have our yep. we have our, our views on how how you how you create a, a, a culture uh, that's good, uh, where you can start winning games. But when it comes down to like sc- scouting players or or uh, those kinds of things, that that's some, uh, something we really have to learn, and and we're we're gonna gonna do that the best we can. We're gonna tell tell what we think, uh, but in the end, in in a in a successful organization, I think the the decisions are needs needs to be made by the guy that has to make those decisions. Yep. And, and like I said, we're we're gonna we're gonna get our point across, and then uh, we'll see where where it goes. Okay, so there's player development. You're gonna be a, there's gonna be evaluation, etc. Henrik, do you and Daniel? And I think I know the answer, but do you and Daniel think the exact same way? When it comes to hockey, uh, we think the same way about where what, what you need uh, as a, as a, as a team uh, for sure. Uh, but there's 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 views on players, there's views on on other stuff that where we don't agree. And I think if you, if you ask the, our teammates when we played, we had a lot of disagreements about a lot of things, uh, mostly in Swedish. <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, we, we, we can be pretty upset with each other, uh, but mm-hmm. in the end, we, we, we sit down and we discuss and, and uh, we come up with the best solution going forward. So there, there's a lot of disagreements, uh, but in the end, I think the view on, on building a winning team, I think it's the same. Henrik, uh, Abbotsford, uh, the American Hockey League team is only 45 minutes away. It's down the road. You're going to have a big uh, part in there. Uh, patience is a word. Uh, in hockey, it doesn't matter if it's Bantam or Junior or the pros. Uh, when you develop young players, Henrik, what are the keys? You've seen a lot of first-round picks come to Vancouver over the years and not make it. You've seen a lot of first-round picks make it. You've seen undrafted players make it. What are the keys to development in your eyes? Oh, that's. I mean, that's. It's. It's. It is really important, and I, I think it's tough when you have a bad team because you now you start bringing in players and you put them in a spot where they they're going to play play out of the comfort zone they're going to get more ice time than up maybe up here with the Canucks than they than they should uh, you start to build you start to hype these guys where uh, you think they're better than maybe they are uh, but that mm-hmm. comes with like when you don't have a winning team it's it's tough to slot in these players where they should be so I think that's been tough the last couple of years. Uh, and all of a sudden you, you get get into a spot where you have to sign them to maybe deals that are they're not where they shouldn't be. And, um, and I think also to, to have the team out in Abbotsford, I think it's, it's, it's so close. They're going to be seen. They're going to be we, – we can go out there and watch practice. We can give them feedback. We can work with the coaches out there. Uh, like there's just going to be a, a better communication 
from the top down, uh, where we, we we all can see them on a daily basis, and that's uh, that's uh, it's going to be great for for this franchise. Do you have a message to the Canuck fans, Henrik? Uh, that it's it's not as bad as as as, uh, as people think it is, uh, but there's still a lot of lot of work to that needs to be done, and it's uh, it's not going to be be fixed. Uh, the team is going to be a lot better for sure going forward, but there's. Uh, and there's, uh, like I said, it's not it's not as bad as I think fans uh, think it is. Uh, I know you're focused on the job as we as we let you go, Henrik. But but one more, if you don't mind. I know you're focused yeah. on the job uh, in front of you. Does but does a part of you think of the future? Where are you and uh, Daniel going with this? Can you see yourselves uh, moving up in a front office one day? Like I said uh, at the press conference too, there, I, I think there's we, we are fully focus on this and we want to learn as much as possible and we, we have no absolutely no game plan stepping into this where we where we see ourselves in five years or, or like if, if we enjoy this and we we think we can help as much as we can uh, as, as much as we think then then I mean who knows but if, if we're still in the same position 10 years from now and we can help this team where we are we're totally happy like we're, we're, we're not we're not moving from the city we're, we're staying here we, we're we're not going to work for a different team, uh, and if that's uh, if this team wants us in ten years and we we still have the same title, that's that's totally fine with us. So, uh, and we'll take it from there. Above and beyond. Thanks so much, outstanding Henrik. Again, congratulations. Best of luck. Enjoy the summer. Thank you, guys. You too.